evening, everyone. I'm Crystal Cruz. We begin tonight with a closer look at the Midland school bond election. The Midland County Elections Office is looking for answers after there was a hand recount of the ballots. There were 820 votes less than there were counted election day. So what happened to all those ballots? News West 9's Rachel Riff has been trying to get answers for you all day. Discrepancies in ballots. That's been the story since Saturday from the Midland County Elections Office. That's because 820 ballots are missing or simply never existed. This according to Elections Administrator Deborah Land. In the recount, election officials found the bond passed by 11 votes. On election night, the bond failed by 25 votes. News West 9 reached out to several state and local entities all day. The Midland County Elections Office, the Texas Secretary of State's Office, the Midland County Commissioner's Office, the Midland County Judge, the Midland County Attorney's Office, the Midland School Board, the Midland Independent School District, Governor Greg Abbott's Office, UT Permian Basin, and more. A lot of people, but not a lot of new information today. Better Bond for Midland tells News West 9 that they are planning on sending out a press release before Thanksgiving. They're waiting for legal counsel, but they did say they'll be pursuing options to the furthest extent of law against the bond recount results. The We Choose Our Future PAC tells News West 9 they won't be talking to media until Wednesday. County Commissioner Scott Ramsey tells us that right now, all county commissioners are learning what their role is as we try to figure out what happens next. A question with a very unclear answer right now. Well, a lot of money was spent on the school bond election. Let's break down how much each special political action committee received in donations. Better Bond for Midland, who was against the school bond, got a little more than $9,200. As for the group who supported the bond, We Choose Our Future, they received a little more than $232,000. $174,000 of that came from oil companies or oil-filled-related services.